Hi guys, um, so this video is to walk you guys through your first assignment, your first week. Um, you guys have done the course introduction and your screen undoubtedly looks a little bit different than this right now. Um, as you can see, I'm still kind of finishing out the course and this video will be right here. Um, but this is just to explain what you're gonna be doing from this week forward. So you will be spending the rest of the course in this course content tab. That's where all of the course material will be. You guys will see that you have only access to unit one right now, so you'll click into unit one, and you'll see weeks one and two are available to you. This first screen is just a, um, a quick overview. Nothing on here is clickable. These are not links, but it'll have the dates of the week. It'll have the layout of all of the assignment of when everything is due, um, and then it will have the readings and the uh, graded assessments as well, um, as well as your objectives and goals. So. If you click into week one, you'll see this is where we are. At the start of each week, you'll have a to-do list. Again, this is just a list. This is not anything clickable or it's not links, um, but it is color-coded to kind of help you guys. So um, reading assignments are in uh, blue. Uh, uh, yellow means that it is a graded assignment. So you'll see that the folders below have these items within them. So the basics folder, you've already done the course introduction. The basics folder has a couple of different reading assignments and a blog that you'll complete. Um, it has uh, another one with Walt Whitman, has a quiz, and then you'll come down and you'll see that there's a folder where you're going to choose either Booker T. Washington or W.E.B. Du Bois to read, and then you're going to do a writing assignment with that. So each week you'll work top to bottom, um, and there's usually generally about three folders that you'll, you'll click into. So the first thing you're going to do is the basics. Um, and you have a, a document here and <clears throat> a, um, a video explanation here. So this is a, a helpful document that you guys can save and use later. Um, there's also an MLA folder here that's optional. You can click into it. If you need a refresher on MLA, just click in. There's a nice explanation here for you, but there is no specific assignment with that. But you can always navigate backwards and come back to this folder. And you'll see there's a blog that you do need to complete. So what you'll do is click into the blog, you'll create your blog entry, you'll hit submit, and then you're done. And then when you're ready, you can come back to the course content and come back into week one. Um, so that's it for the basics. When you're done, you'll return back to the week one folder. Go down to the next folder. This is Walt Whitman. You'll click into Walt Whitman. You'll read his, generally the reading assignments have a quick biography at the top of some kind. It'll have the reading assignment outlined in blue. So again, if you don't have the 8th edition like I have for teaching, then your page numbers might be different. Many of these you can Google as well. If you can't find it in your book or for whatever reason you're not sure where it is, you can also Google these. Um, if you need to pause the lectures, you can to find the correct page numbers because I do cite them by page numbers. Um, but when you're done with the reading assignment, you're going to do the video lecture. So you'll click and you'll watch the lecture. And usually there's an assignment associated with this one. It's not within this folder. You're going to come back out here and you'll see there's a quiz. So the quiz, you'll click in, you'll begin the test. You have as much time as you need to take it. You just have to take it um, within one attempt. You can't save it and return to it later. But when you're done with that, those are generally no more than 10 questions. Um, you'll come in and you'll click on this folder here and you'll choose um, either Booker T. Washington or W.D.B. Du Bois, and you'll click in and read, um, read the assignment, watch the biography or read the biography, read the assignment. And then when you're done, you'll come back out. I have some instructions here for you on how to submit a written assignment. Again, remember that it must be a Word doc. Um, so you'll click in, essentially, once you have your written assignment complete, you will browse your computer, you'll have it as a Word doc, you'll choose the Word doc you want to do, you'll attach it, and then you'll click um, I agree to save to submit papers to the Global Reference Database, so that's your safe assigned plagiarism detection, and then you'll click submit. And that's it for your week, um, and it's pretty simple. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to email me throughout the week, um, and then you are welcome to move on to the next week's folder since you do have access to it, or you can just start again the next Monday morning. Um, if you have any questions about this, let me know, but otherwise it should be pretty self-explanatory.